Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Joseph Explosive with The Explosive Videos and today I'm coming to you with another tutorial. This is kind of a, an attachment to my last five, the whole series that I did in Audacity, The Beginner's Guide to Audacity. Um, in that course, I'll run down real quickly if you don't already know. Pretty much I taught you everything from installing Audacity to composing multiple tracks, doing effects, cleaning up your audio and exporting and, and, and putting it out there for people to hear your music. So I was asked a question on how can, let's say someone like a DJ that has one long track, how can they go about breaking that up when they put it in a CD form so, to where the listeners don't have to listen through the whole CD without being able to skip, you know, between different tracks, you know, kind of make it like a regular CD. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So speaking on this particular subject, Everything you need to know how to do that will, will be shown in this video. But if there's anything like you're like, hey, I wonder what that is right there. Or I wonder what those things mean. Go to my tutorials. I cover all that other stuff. This specific video is just pertaining to that question. Let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, I already have my track in here. And it's running over an hour and 10 minutes. Now, if I were to put that on CD in the current form that it is, they're going to have to listen all the way through. They, they might be able to hold the skip button and skip through. But that's annoying. Who wants to do that? Nobody. <laughs> it might keep sweat real quick. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I make sure I'm on my selection tool, which I already am. And I'm going to hit this button right here to make sure I'm all the way at the beginning. Zero, zero, zero. Now I'm going to go to tracks, add label, add selection. Or if you're on a PC, it's control BZ. And the first thing you notice is, okay, you got your first track in here, your initial one. Now you got track label. All you got to do is right in here, name that bad boy track one okay you can hit enter and it'll close that track out and then you can go as far as you want to let's say i want to drop it right in here now the key is you want to actually click up here on the first track and i'm going to click down here so i'm going to click right here boom and i'm going to hit control b this time boom using that hot key track two this time i'm not going to hit enter i'm showing you guys different ways you know it's not even really that important but i'm just good to show you that so I'm going to go ahead and add another one. Let's say I want one right here at the 10 minute mark. I'm sorry, that's the 20 minute mark. Got it in there. This time I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to do it this way. All right, track three. Cool. Now I added three more tracks. You guys didn't need to see that because I'm sure by now you got the hang of it. But let me show you a couple other things. All right, let's say I have all my tracks in here and I'm like, dang, track two and track three are really close to each other. Let me go ahead and slide track two over. See, see how that lit up? Boom, grab it, drag it, rub it down. Oh, no, no, that ain't even how the song goes. But anyways, you see how you can move that around. You can do that with any one of these just by clicking the left mouse and dragging that over. Now, let's say, man, I got way too much time in between each track. Let me go ahead and add another one in here. Feel free to do that. I'm going to hit Control B, hit that hot key, and I'm going to add track. Now, you want to keep these in sequential order because when you burn these to a CD, you want them to stay in order in the way that your, your mix is. So what I would do here is I just go ahead there and then you can also click on this one and now you can edit that one and then you can do the same with this other one. All right. Now let's go ahead and show you how to get up out of here. So I got all my little tracks in there. I'm going to move this one over because that one's too close or whatever. And of course, you're going to be a lot more caring where you want to put these tracks because you don't want to put... A track in the middle of you know a drop or a middle of a <laughs> a pickup I don't know what you what you DJs call this stuff but you don't want to put it in the middle of a beat or something like that so you're gonna be more selective than me or want to be more selective than me I'm just showing you guys how to do it all right let me show you how to go ahead and export these now you're gonna go down to file you're gonna go to export multiple in here you you're gonna want to have this set to wave don't do mp3 uh, because mp3 it's going to compress your your music it's going on a cd anyway you might as well get the best uh, sound quality that you can out of it and also mp3s are going to automatically no matter how you decide to burn these to a cd and, and what burner you put it in there's going to be spaces in between your tracks wave you have the option of getting rid of those spaces in between your tracks so it could be seamless but if they want to skip forward they have the option to so i got my wave selected there you're going to choose wherever folder you want to put it and you're going to want to go ahead and say split files based on label now over here on name files we already got those name track one track two in sequential order so we're going to go ahead and click that if you didn't do that and you just left a, a blank thing there this is where you'd want to go ahead and start putting in your track information but we already got that so let's go ahead and boom export this bad boy now this is where you want to go ahead and put in all your metadata up in there this is dj skip the dip 
DJ Nappy Headed Sapsucker, DJ Snitch, whatever you're going to do. You guys know what to do on that part. So you you can do that for each portion of the track, or you could go ahead and set it as a default. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, pretend I put the default or whatever. I put my information on all those tracks. So track six is done, and or actually track seven. Now it's going to go ahead and export these bad boys into the file that I selected. Okay, export's done. I'm going to hit OK on that. And now I'm going to see you in my folder. All right, grasshoppers, that's going to wrap it up. You guys can see I got my seven tracks into the folder that I specified in Audacity. And I'm sure you guys are wise and skilled enough to go ahead and take it from here. All you got to do is open up whatever CD burning software you use, iTunes, whatever it may be. And just make sure when you're going to format the CD or when you're going to go burn the CD, make sure that you put none where it says gap between songs that way whoever's listening to your cd they can go from the beginning to the end seamlessly or if they choose to hit skip they can skip in, in between each track that you made thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something if you want to learn more go back and check out my first five tutorials it'll, it'll blow your mind on all the stuff that i put in there I put a lot of work into it Thank you guys. I love you. Now go forth and spread that good music. And also check me out on social media. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. Deuces.